The Toronto Raptors drafted Grady Dick with the 13th pick, and as Raptors fans always do, they set a really high expectation on this kid on his debut. I mean, they were critical of this dude as soon as he missed his first 3 point shot. I mean, of course I'm not talking about every single Raptors fan, but the overreaction on Twitter was just uncalled for. Grady Dick started for the Raptors tonight playing a total of 30 minutes with a stat line of 10 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists and 3 steals. It makes me wonder if this is the stat line he's gonna have in his rookie year. I mean, I don't think he's gonna be a starter, but scoring 10 points off the bench, grabbing 4 boards, 2 assists and 3 steals, I think that could be really good. I do have a lot of positive things to say about the way he played tonight, but let's get the negatives out of the way first. Grady shot 3 for 12 from the field and going 2 for 9 from the 3 point line. Listen man, shoot a shoot and I'm glad he kept shooting despite having a cold night from the 3 point line. His shots looked good, none of them were forced which is a good sign so I'm not worried about Grady finding his shot. And the only other negative thing I can really point out is that in his first couple minutes on the court, he just didn't look as comfortable but can you blame him? This is a guy who just came into the league as a rookie and is trying to get adjusted to the pace of the NBA. So you can't really hold that against him. Now let's talk about the positives, the thing that I really like about his game. He was all over the court. He's a proactive player on offense, off the ball, always finding the open space, filling all the gaps, getting open for a shot, crashing the board for his teammates, getting rebounds, getting tip-ins. His ability to find the open man even when he's getting double team on a dribble is phenomenal. I truly believe he has elite vision for a wing, we just haven't seen it yet. I mean, the way he throws some of his passes, you can see it, especially if you're a hooper and you know exactly what you're looking at, you know this guy got it. And defensively, I think he has a foundation to be an elite wing defender as well. He has good hands and the moment he puts a bit more weight, I can definitely see him being able to keep up with some of the best players in the league, especially when he improves his lateral quickness as well. I mean, he had three steals. I can see him being a menace when it comes to cutting off passing lanes and being a good help defender. And that's exactly what you need for a guy who can shoot the lights out. I mean, he hasn't shown tonight, but I know he will at the NBA level. And on top of that, he's 6'7 with a 6'9 wingspan. He's gonna be scary. Overall, I think he had a solid debut. I think a lot of people were expecting him to rain down three or four threes, score at least 15 to 16 points. But like I said, I can't wait to see him get comfortable and knock down those shots. I mean, I think he's gonna light it up in the next couple of games in Summer League, especially after a game like tonight where he admitted that he was still getting comfortable. And I don't really see that as an excuse. I like the fact that he took accountability and recognizes that he came up short, that he can do a lot better. So I'm really excited to see what he's gonna do in the next couple of games. As you can tell, I'm still very high on this kid, so let me know in the comment if you think he'll actually get some good minute with the Raptors. I personally think he will, so let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to follow me on Twitter as well where I chat about basketball every single day. It's your boy Raptakes, and I'll catch you on next time. Peace.